Hello. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Archie. And we're going to be nailing track down for our underground layout. Now, we did nail the track down for the overground layout. Yeah. And we made some mistakes. Yeah. So I'm trying not to make them now. The mistakes we made were that every now and then, just by accident, I would hit the track ever so slightly with a hammer while nailing. And um, what I didn't realise at the time is that even the tiniest of dents can derail trains later yeah. on. Yeah. Um, and once you've nailed it all down, that's kind of a, a bit annoying. So this time I'm being very careful. And what I'm doing is I'm using a, a pair of pliers um, to basically keep the hammer away from the track so that at no point is that hammer getting near the track. So here we are with our nailed down under track, doing test runs, it all seems to be working. Now the next step is we've got some some more MDMF board. This is 10 centimeters high and it's going to basically fit in as walls to our tunnels and it's also going to act as uh, supports to hold the the upper base up. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, this is a Yeah. But testing's going great, isn't it? Mm. Is that the dapple? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful engine. So now we've started putting in what are going to be the supporting walls. So we've got one on each corner and then a straight down out of the side. Now I'm hoping that that's going to be enough to support the upper board. Um, and all I'm doing, I've, I've got a piece here, I'm just doing a bit of wood glue. I'm popping it on at a nice 45 degree angle. Um, I'm not feeling the need to, to screw these into place particularly because I I think the weight is going to be, the pressure is going to be from the top. It's going to be load bearing, isn't it? It's not going to be side to side, hopefully. So I think they'll be just fine like this. Might screw a couple in. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so, little update. This is how our underground board is looking. We've been having trains on. Showing you our little platform. We've put the supporting walls in, the supporting corners as well. They're just glued in wood glue, but they're perfectly firm. Um, I think most of them are solid enough. Oh, <laughs> no! But we've got these spare ones, and these are going to be uh, walls, and we're going to have to put tunnels in them. They're going to go along the way, things like that. So today Archie's doing some of the painting inside what's going to be tunnels. How's it going Arch? Pretty good. Gravity's not fighting the paint, <laughs> luckily. Because we want all the insides to look black so that as the train goes round it kind of looks like an underground tunnel. Because as we saw on a previous episode, underground tunnels are black on the inside. Very black. Very black, yes. As long as they have a coat or two of black, it's good. I think so. Yeah, if you're building an underground board underneath, definitely do two coats because one coat isn't enough. Yeah. Because yeah. this is one coat and you and it kind of looks bluish. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But after a couple, they look fine, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. See, these bits are on their second coat there, looking thick and black. Excellent. Mm. What are you doing now, Arch? So I'm gluing this tunnel in here, so, okay, so I think I've put a fair amount of glue on. That looks good, that's wood glue, yeah? yeah. Standard wood glue, okay. Pop the tunnel into place. And then leave it to dry. Now is that the right way round? The way to find out is to try and put our carriage through. No. Oh, 
We're using a Mark III carriage because it's about the longest thing we've got. Yeah. Test these tunnels with. Now let's test it. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Another reason we want these uh, tunnels quite wide, the entrances, um, is because we are worried that at one point, someday, a train is going to derail down in there and we're going to have to have tunnels where, yeah. yes, Archie can get his arm through to reach out trains. Can you show yeah. us that, Arch? I'll give it a go, yeah. Yes, you could reach a train if it fell off over in that corner. Yeah. That's a good thing. Okay. Okay, so what are we doing now, Dad? Now I'm using a little bit of filler to fill up little gaps between our MDMF boards, which are going to be walls, just so that there's not tons of light coming through. Mm. The filler's white at the moment, obviously we can paint it black later. <laughs> it's back in the old blue livery again. Yeah. You pleased, Arch? Yeah, very. Think it's going well? Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Mm. Any comments? We should really use this as a cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs>